The blaze ravaging Maui is already the deadliest wildfire in the U.S. in more than a century. The death toll continues to rise and as of this morning was at 96 with hundreds still missing. Damage across the island is estimated to cost close to $6 billion. Nearly 5,000 people are without shelter, many also without supplies or resources. And while I understand natural disasters happen, Hawaii emergency management records confirm that no warning sirens sounded before the fire engulfed the town. Who knows how many lives could have been saved? This is just wholly unacceptable. And yes, I am aware FEMA is on the ground. I am aware Biden declared a federal disaster declaration and pledged to do whatever is necessary to help. That's great. That's standard. But... When asked about the devastation in Maui, here is what our illustrious leader had to say. Will you come talk about the Hawaii response, Mr. President? Uh, nothing there. No comment. No comment at all. Also, I can't help but think how far the $24 billion Joe just asked for, in addition to the $113 billion we've already sent to Ukraine, more accurately, Zelensky, would go for the people, the Americans in Maui and East Palestine, Ohio, in America, for God's sake. Our government, and that includes neocon rhinos like Lindsey Graham, has hemorrhaged tens of billions to Ukraine and counting, has abandoned billions worth of military equipment in Afghanistan left to be used by the Taliban. Our government is also dumping billions of our hard-earned money to take care of aid and abet illegal aliens. You know, at what point do we say enough and mean it? I know the favorite excuse of a phrase that we can walk and chew gum at the same time. Well, look around you. Clearly, our government cannot. I am so sick of America last. I'm so sick of watching our own country fall by the wayside as politicians on both sides of the aisle waste our money on other countries. America first used to mean something. Now it's just screen printed on t-shirts at Trump rallies and that's about it. It doesn't have to be this way, folks. A hundred thousand dollars in merchandise is looted from a Nordstrom in LA County. And if you're wondering why this crap keeps happening, you must not be familiar with California. It's time for final thoughts. So in case you missed it, law and order is not a thing in California, not in Northern California, not in Central California, and certainly not in Southern California. Instead, California has become a place for the very rich, the very poor, and those who steal from the rich and the poor and call it social justice. What happened this past weekend at the Westfield Topanga Mall is just another example of that. Here you see about 50 looters ransacking a Nordstrom store flash mob style in broad daylight. They were even reportedly toting bear spray to fend off any security guards that may try to intervene in their brazen thievery. This is the second flash mob style coordinated theft effort in L.A. County in two weeks. A couple weeks ago, a group ransacked a St. Laurent store at the Americana at Brand Mall in Glendale, California, stealing around $300,000 in merchandise before taking off in 20 separate getaway vehicles. Now, the left will tell you they were simply getting their reparations or that they needed these items to feed their families. But funny, looters never seem to be lifting bread and milk, but always need designer shoes, jewels, and handbags to feed their families. Funny how that works. Why this is all happening and happening often in California is no shocker, no surprise, no Da Vinci Code here, folks. Hell, even rapper 50 Cent knows why looting has become California's new favorite pastime. L.A. has re-upped the no-cash bail policy, which does away with bail for anyone charged with a misdemeanor or non-violent felony, though L.A.'s definition of non-violent is pretty lenient to begin with. There is no, this no-cash bail policy breezed under the radar during COVID when felon-coddling officials deemed it cruel to jail people who stole from or otherwise non-violently terrorize others. That policy expired in July of last year, but wouldn't you know it, an L.A. judge ruled the cash bail system to be unconstitutional and oppressive and reinstated the free-for-all. And that's precisely why none of this is going to end. Not now, not ever. As long as major cities vote for Democrats, this will continue. People have gone feral. They've been conditioned to believe stealing from others is their right and entitlement. The 2020 ride and looting season taught them that. So as much as I'd like to say there's hope for these cities that they can be saved, I don't actually truly believe that. So rather than telling conservatives and decent people to stay and fight the good fight, I'll be honest with you, just leave.
get to a red state or at least a purple one, abandon ship and start over. There is an America that looks like the America you once knew, and I suggest you get to it and fast. Those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless. Take care.